<laughs> this is like an argument. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Why can't the Selkath see what the Sith are really like? They should ban them all from this planet. They say everyone on Manon is equal, but it seems the Republic is a little more equal than the Sith. Neutrality? Ha! That's a laugh! How did you know I was from the Republic? No, no, perfectly legitimate. Um... What do you know about the young Selkath they've gone missing? Is there a star map on this world? No more questions, Your Honor. Hmm. 
hi there. Rude. Rude. Excuse me. A reminder to anyone in chat, if you are not, if someone in chat bothers you, simply be an adult, click on their name in chat, and click the ignore button. Then you will see no more messages from them, I promise. All the messages from that person will go away. And you don't have to worry about them anymore. So if someone ever bothers you in chat, just click on their name and click ignore, and you will never see another message from them ever again. No go boss. Still looking into it. What was my mission? I need to go to the Republic. I gotta find the Republic uh, Embassy. Talk to them. Sorry, I can't read your message. Hey, have you on ignore? Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. It's, you want to especially ignore that Dan guy. He's a dick. I don't know why anyone ever listens to that guy. I think he's an asshole, personally. I don't know. I'm just like, whatever, Mr. Dan's Gaming. Ignore. Oh, whatever. Ignore. Ignore. Uh. All right. Um, go this way. <clears throat> Talking chat so you ignore me. Oh, looks Your like a fight. Precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malik isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Um, you can just feel the tension on this place between the Sith. Ooh, General Star. How much for all this stuff, Tyvark? Chiwi aita ka tong chicha. Agi inko tune chuna muri ra. Tongi wama jiko na. Thanks, Tybark. Catch you next week. This guy seems republic friendly. Yun Patisa, the Chuba Jikutka Naga, King Bumwa Muli Radwana, King Banik Chalora Kun. Let's see what you have in stock. Don't hit Wama Agi Inko Tune. Ah, just show me what you got in stock. Shut up. I'll take the med packs. Those are always good. Do you have anything good that I need? Any, like, quest items? Advanced Stun Ray. Beeman Packet. Ooh, implant. Constitution plus 7,500! Jeez! Earl 
amplifier, neural band, breath mask, unity poison. Uh, awareness plus four, stabilizer, combat sensor, plus. Uh, what is that? Six thousand though. Jeez. Holy crap. Sharper rifle, carbine, battle can. Ooh, battle cannon. Four thousand though for that thing. Hold out blaster. On chance, twenty-five percent chance stun. Blaster pistol. Battle cannon. Disruptor. Mandalorian blaster. Heavy pistol. Heavy fiber blade. Hmm. Light battle armor, combat suit, military suit, parts, med pack. Alright, let's get over here. Hello there. I always shop here. Tyvark's prices are the best in the city. Be gold. Assistant tried and need you. Finally, no, I've got to find the Republic Enclave. That's where the, the quest is going to be, probably. A lot of places here. It's a giant, giant place. Hello, Hula. That's a rather strange greeting. Answers answers to what? Who are you? My name is Dan. Ask some questions. Uh, what are you doing here in Manan? You're a spy. I heard Winky Smack again. Winky Smack from my mom. So that's all you do is sit and watch? Ask you some more questions. Um, what do you know about the Cellcath? I'll be going now. Okay. Shady Rodwin? Why are you standing here in the corner? Winky Smack. Winky 
Kang Patoga smack Tilia. Business. La boda na winky smack Toma. She's got a soaky kupa bona na chachu. Chawana bo. So what you got? Mmm. Close. Goodbye. Alright. What's in here? Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. East courtyard. What? Is... Before I go over there, let me see what's down here in the middle. Okay. Um. Salka, Salka, droid. Hopefully, we can find the Republic. Ah, there it is. Republic Embassy. This is where we'll talk to the Republic people. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Manon. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kolto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kolto supply... But the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help me with it. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. I seek a star map, the remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Come on, tell me. No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. You want to tell me? Then I shall wish you good day. What? 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 Behalf... Welcome to Man. Oh. And well, perhaps. Okay. Come on, tell me. No, no. You do. You want to tell me? Don't think you can manipulate me, Jedi. The Republic Diplomatic Corps has to deal with the Sith all the time, so we're very resistant to mental influence. Your only real choice is to help me, so I can help you. Alright, what do you want? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Where is the droid? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How do I get into the Sith base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. And is there another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Decrypting the pass card sounds good. Good. It is a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about, in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Selkath to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. 
while it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? I think I'll decrypt the pass card. Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better luck. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Um, you can ban anyone that is causing, is making, is making chat less fun for everyone. So if someone is being highly rude or whatever, you can uh, ban them. But try to give, try to warn them first. Use your, use your best judgment. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. Terminal sequences? The strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption system. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. Sounds complex. Um. Let's see if, I wonder if the robot can do it. The robot probably can do it. This game is in the retail game, uh, boss. There's nothing in the game is modded other than the resolution. Uh. Okay, let's decrypt the pass card. Okay. Terminal sequence. One, two, four, seven, eleven, sixteen, twenty-two. Subtractive matrix. Minus three. My, okay, minus three. Minus two. Minus one, minus zero, plus one, plus two would be eighteen. Okay, one times two is two, two times two is four, four times two is six, thirty-two is sixty-four. Um, divided by, uh, divided by two is sixty-four. Divided by two is sixty-four. Divided by two, divided by two is two. Exponential. Uh oh. Ah, shit. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Moomin, everyone in chat's an adult. If someone's uh, bothering you, just ignore them. I. Chat. Chat is full of adults, and people can do what they want. If someone's being disruptive to everyone in chat, we'll get rid of them, but otherwise, I expect everyone to just ignore people if you don't like them. And I am not always looking at chat, because I am playing a game, if you haven't noticed. Spoiler alert, I'm playing a game. Spoiler. Okay, um... 1 to 32. Hmm... 30... One, can you get to thirty-two? Thirty-two. God, I haven't done exponents in forever. Yes. Um, thirty-two would be two to the eighth power, and then I think. Two times two times two. No, fourth power. 
2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 fifth power. Um, and... Okay, I, I narrowed it down. It can't be number 5. I've eliminated number 5. We can't do that. Um, so... Wait, one. I see. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's see. Um, it's one to the whatever power is one. Two to the. Okay. Two. Okay, so two. Clear. Two to the uh, fourth power. No. Two to the fifth power. Thirty-two. Three to the fourth power is eighty-one. Four to the fourth power. No. Four to the third power. Sixty-four. Five to the second power is twenty-five. Six. Six to the first power is six, so it's got to be six. Logical matrix terminal sequence pairs. Ten and one minus eight and three. One divide. Oh, God. Logs. Oh, God. Um, I don't remember logarithms. Uh, it's been forever since I've done logarithms. Okay, it's not, I know it's not 9, and it's not 4, so you can eliminate those answers off of there. Alright, let's see. 32 and 5, what connection does 5 have with 32? Is it, what is a logarithm again? Can someone define a logarithm? I can't even remember what a logarithm is. It's been so long. The only thing, only log I can think of is the one I left in my toilet last night. Sorry, that was dirty. Is uh, the ones in forests. What's a log? Two. Two to the fifth power equals thirty two. Zero to the three to the Oh. Oh, okay, so eight. Eight is two to the third power. Um three to the fifth power. That can't be right, that can't be right. Okay. Clear. Three. Is this is why is this fro oh wrong button. Okay. Clear. Three to the fifth power is two well, that's not right. Um two to the third power equals eight. Um 128. 2 to the 7th uh, power. It's 128. It's got to be 7. I did it. I did it. I did it. Math! I did math! I did math! Whee!
Hey, great! You sliced the encryption on those cards. They change the codes regularly, so you'll have to use it pretty soon or not at all. Well, what? Ashley, sir, the, the game.